Okay, so we open a hand. No red mana. I'm still not sure I want to mulligan it because of that. I think if we find a red mana, this, this hand can function. I can at least start dashing, get into Gorswine and Executioner. I think I'm going to keep, but this hand definitely would be substantially better with a mountain. All right, well, if we're going to draw something. Shadow Spear is a pretty good one. Green, red. All right. Starting to enter dangerous territory here. At least Shadow Spear is good sacrifice fodder for the Executioner next turn. Red mana there would have been pretty sweet. Would have gotten a dash with Scout. Do turn two, five damage, just huge. Dragon Sentry main deck. All right, that's weird. Was not expecting that. All right, that sucks. But I guess we play Executioner. It's not like Executioner is getting better than this, so. Not the best uh, executioner I could have asked for, but we're just a red mana away from playing everything in our hand. So I'm really hoping that we can draw red mana. We do have 10 red mana, so there is a good chance of drawing one. All right. Student's actually pretty... Pretty gosh darn good against us right now. There's our red mana. So we can play Gorswine. We can play Crater Elemental. Uh, if I play Crater... No, I think we play Gorswine. That way I can Tail Slash his student. Next turn. Hopefully we don't get Twin Bolted here, but we'll see. I mean, if I get to resolve a Tail Slash against a student, that's pretty good. I mean, the fact that he's playing Dragon's Eye Sentry main deck definitely makes me think he's got some fat in his deck. Hopefully it's something I can kill. Nope. No such luck. No such luck. Nope. All right. So we kill student and pass. I mean, I guess we could do crater elemental. Yeah. That makes more sense. Because we're currently one creature away from formidable. He would have to get three more power on the board and have an open three mana to be able to lurking Erinx us, but very well could happen.
Oof. That is really rough. All right. So it's pretty horrific. It's probably like one of the worst things that could happen there, but bad things happen in Magic sometimes, so I'll accept it. It does. It's definitely terrible, though. It's pretty horrific, like I said. It's it's like one of the absolute last things we we wanted to happen there, but what can you do? Uh, let's play Aspirant. I guess we'll leave up Tail Slash and Crater Elemental. Yeah, Seismic Rupture, unfortunately, is just devastating against us. Absolutely devastating. So, just there's actually just like a ridiculously high amount of draws that we can get that are good for us, too, right now. Double Vulture Saven, Boltwing Marauder. Um... land to build towards Scion, I guess. I mean, if we can fly over. Alright. Well, I'm not too concerned about Frontier Siege. Let's see which one he names. Well, he chose Khan, so it looks like he wants to ramp. Get tail slash is survivalist, but I don't really like it. All right, so now we'll just cast scout plus skirmisher. Just basically build a board state to the point where a volcanic rush maybe does something for us. We're also one mana or one power away from crater elemental. And he's one power away from Formidable. I mean, we've got some bomby top end we can hope to draw. And Vulturous Aven would be great here, too, like I said. Get, build us back up some card advantage, which we pretty desperately need. Going in. That's super worrisome. So what has he got that he can kill my Crater Elemental with? I don't know, but... I'm going to block the two-power guy with the Elemental, because... If I block this... Well, they both aren't bad against Tread Upon, I guess. I could just take five, but I really don't like that. I'm trying to think. Tread Upon, Artful Maneuver, both of those I don't care about. I'm just going to block here. Dramoka's Gift, he has to do it on Survivalist. Draconic Roar is the only thing I'm not playing around, but it's uncommon. Oh, okay. Bathe in Dragonfire. Well, I blocked the right one then. This is still okay. So now we're going to Tail Slash his Survivalist and bash in for seven. Not that that's all that great.
Ugh, that guitar is so brutally good. Yeah, it's pretty devastating. Well, we're definitely two for wanting ourselves. Yeah, land draws are absolutely horrendous at this point. Any any future land draws are, are just straight terrible. So I think what we do is whatever he blocks, I tail slash. That's all I've got. He's not even blocking. So, I mean, at least this makes it so Volcanic Rush does something. But not in a great spot. Yeah, I, it's going to be pretty difficult to win this one. I don't know how we do it. Volcanic Rush is all I've got. I don't even know if that's enough. I don't think it is. We just don't have enough. I don't know what to say. We'd have to get in with everything. We just don't have enough. I think I just have to blame Marty Scout and pass. If I dash it and attack with everything, he just blocks and it doesn't matter. Even with the tail slash, he still has lethal on the backswing, so it's just, it, it doesn't work. I could have dashed, swung with everything but my aspirant, maybe, or skirmisher, and then tail slash. Maybe that would have been better. I don't know. Yeah, and we just have horrific blocks here. I, I, I'm I, probably better off scooping, but I guess my opponent's behind on the clock, so whatever. We'll drain as much time as we can. But I have no good blocks here at all. Maybe I should have just taken that damage. I didn't even think about bathing Dragonfire. I don't know why. I, had, I don't know why I was drawing a blank on that. Played this format like a thousand times. Alright. Using Lurking Erynx. At least he is using a good amount of his clock here, but... We're not looking great. Um, he only has the mana to move one counter, so... Block with these two. All right, well, pretty clearly can't do anything about that. So still not winning, but uh, I guess we're using our opponent's clock up. Not that that's going to make a difference if we don't win next game, but <laughs> we'll drag this out as long as we can, I guess. Which probably means next turn. <laughs> I 
I'm trying to think if I want to keep defeat in once we get to sideboard. Um, my thinking is what is my thinking? Um, defeat takes out Student of Ojutai, takes out Dragon's Eye Sentry, only takes out Survivalist if he doesn't morph it. We definitely die here, though. If he plays it correctly actually i guess we don't no no he does we do we do he just has to make it so two guys have to block erinx and then he just has to move the counter over to his to whatever is like i double block erinx i block dagatar and then he moves the counter over to student and it's lethal I think I'm bringing in duress, so I have to w bring something out. Why no attacks? No idea where my why my opponent didn't attack there. Well, now we can attempt to build up an army here. Hmm. Okay. Tail slash that guitar. No attacks. So, I've got, what, seven mana? I probably want a Tail Slash. End of turn. Collateral damage on that. Let's... Tail Slash... Dagatar. Although he's got the two mana floating. All right. Can't save it. Pretty high probability that we're just going to Tail slash Dagatar at end of turn once that green mana falls out of his mana pool. Because otherwise he can keep his formidable. Alright, so now he can move the counter, but... Oh, he didn't. Alright, he F6, so that worked out well for us. Um, guess we'll cast Mardu Scout and pass. Definitely is to our benefit to drag this game out as long as possible.
So we only have one swamp left in the deck. Uh oh. What's he casting here? Some, some problems with those triggers. Yes, yeah, looks like something I don't want to see. Yeah, all right. That's going to do it. I'm pretty positive I don't have an out for that, so definitely not something we wanted him to draw. I can tell you that much. I don't know why he would fight with that. Oh, he's going to pump it, too. Okay. Our opponent could have killed us a while ago. I don't know why he didn't. If he already had one of those cards in his hand, he definitely could have killed us. Right? Or am I wrong? I don't know. I feel like could have at the very least if he'd not F6, he could have saved his his Dagatar. We're definitely bringing in duress. Saw too many lands this game, but that happens. So now it's, I think, my way to win is to drag a game out six and a half minutes. So I'm trying to think if there's a way I can. <laughs> Unfortunately, when you're playing aggro, you tend to have a harder time dragging games out. I mean, I also could just win the second game and then leave my opponent with maybe three to four minutes to win a to win a game three but all right so uh, hmm. duress defeat does take out at least a couple of his guys, but I'm not too keen on leaving it in. Could also do... Defeat does take out that Dragon's Eye Sentry, which sadly is really good against our deck. Maybe I'd take out Volcanic Rush. Not thrilled about that either. I could take out Minister of Pain. He has a Survivalist as an X1. Nothing really beyond that. Maybe we take out Minister, actually. Let's leave in the defeat. I, I might need that. All right, let's try this. We'll play first. Keep that. At least the hand's good. I mean, we're going to need some more lands, but we're we're staying busy with two lands, which is nice. Unfortunately, uh Seismic Rupture is going to be a real real dream crusher, but maybe I just do dashing to prevent that. So we go Brawler into Scout, and then we get to swing for six on turn three, which is pretty good, actually.
And it plays around seismic rupture, so I kind of like it. Okay, so now we go Coligan Aspirant. Swing for three first strike again. I mean, both of these guys are excellent creatures against Sandstep Outcast. All right, I think he's got Seismic Rupture. That would make sense. Thankfully, Seismic Rupture doesn't wreck us here, but he gets to keep his spirit, which is pretty brutal, actually. Or Glaring Aegis. I maybe just play Crater Elemental now. Tacking. Well, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I'm going to play the Crater Elemental anyway. I could have Marty scouted there, but... Once again, it actually is to my benefit to just make this game last as long as possible. Like... We could lose in three and a half minutes, but I feel like we're less likely to lose than if I were to beat him and go to a game three, like, right away. We can just crack Evolving Wilds now, too. Okay. I guess I kill him. Or maybe I can't. Oh, looking at I guess I can't. No, well, if I draw a land, I can. Because then I could have dashed with two guys. But that's okay. Let's do uh, Gorswine. That way, if I draw a land, I can double dash still. And it makes good use of the mana. And he doesn't have Formidable. All right, he does have three blockers. All 
All right, four blockers. Made a lot of plays that turn, but we're still okay. So I guess I can um, attack with Gore Swine. He blocks with Storm Singer. I kindled Fury plus Tail Slash Erinx. Although he's not even that formidable yet, I could just play Scout plus Skirmisher too. I kind of want to leave up Kindled Fury. I think I'd just play Skirmisher and pass. Although, hmm, getting rid of his board seems correct. Let's swing here. I mean, if we get him to the right point here, we're pretty good shape. I think getting rid of his two of his guys is pretty pretty good. Keeps him off ferocious too. All right, so we're still land away from scout Skirmisher dash. So even if he has a creature here, all right. All right, I think he's going to not be able to kill us in a minute, six seconds. Yeah, I don't think he's capable of doing that. Okay, our opponent just conceded. He also decided that he wasn't going to be able to beat me in a minute. Um, so we got, we went 2-1. Our deck played pretty well for us. We, uh, I mean, we got, we went to game three in round two. So the deck played pretty well. We had some issues. Um, but Boltwing Marauder definitely did some work for us. Cyan of Ugin, I guess, was awkward most of the time. So maybe that was just the most out of place card in the deck. But I figured we needed some late game because these decks tend to gas out and then just be, you know, done. But that was why I kind of wanted to have some late game like the Marsh Hulk, Cyan, and Boltwing Marauder. But, um, I mean, it, it really did come together in pack three with the triple Mardu Scout Shadow Spear. So our early game really got solidified. But all in all... I mean, we went 2-1, which isn't bad. We did beat our round three opponent by time. But we did, I mean, we, we legitimately beat him game two pretty quickly. And that's there's not to say that we couldn't have beat him game three without the time. You know, I just happened to beat him through time. And the round two opponent, the Descent of the Dragons, beat us game two. And even though dressing it in game three was the plan, it still wasn't enough. We just didn't see enough early game. And I, the Twin Bolt was just too good against most of our deck. Um, other than that, not much to say. So we're going to have to do another Swiss, but uh, we'll see you for the next draft.